Welcome to Area DMG. Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Will Pussy, the Mile High Mouth, and today we're going to talk a little bit about the Nintendo Switch. See the Nintendo Switch? You can play it in portable mode, you can pop it into a uh, the dock, play it on the TV, and you can also take the little Joy-Cons off and play in tabletop mode. Now, in tabletop mode, there's a couple things you can do. Um, there is a kickstand right here on the back, and it's serviceable, but it's bad, and I don't like using it. So, there are a plethora, I guess, of uh, stands for the Nintendo Switch. For example, uh, let's see here, this is, um, okay, this one's actually not one. If you had two, you could probably pop it up like that, and be just fine. But it was essentially for the Wii U, and it was for a Wii Play, and we're not going to include it in here. But there are a bunch of different stands that work on the Nintendo Switch to varying degrees. What we're going to do here is actually, we're going to talk about these ones, and then we're going to unbox this new one that I picked up, which is actually the ultimate in stands. Now, there is one, one thing I'm going to emphasize here. And I'm going to include this in here because something you should probably know. Anywho, this is the stand that came with Kid Icarus Uprising for the Nintendo 3DS. It'll work on the Switch. It's fine. You can even charge it while it's connected to it. Good. Fine. Here is the stand that came with the uh, Pokemon Teaches Typing. You can hold a game card back here for the DS. And you can use it on the Switch. But you can't, like, charge, and honest to goodness, why would you? Here is a stand for the Nintendo Wii U. Works on the Switch. Same. Eh. It's okay. Also really cheap online and in other places. Let's move those out because they're not really for the Switch. But this is the Hori Play Stand, which is awesome. It um, has multiple different angles that you can have it at, like this, this angle, this angle, this angle, yep. You can charge it while it's attached to it, like by plugging into here, etc, etc. Pretty good. Now, this is one of my favorites. This is the charging dock. The just tiny little puppy, you just throw it into the bag, it sits here. It should work on the switch light. You put do this, and it's adjustable. And um, you can plug it in to charge, right? And also, if you're a person who wants to, you can plug this in, like a uh, USB-C 3 into this, and then connect other USB things to it, and they'll work. Which is actually pretty interesting, and something we're going to address with, the, uh, with, what, with what we're unboxing today. I'll put that one aside. I actually bought multiples of this stand. And a few of this one because, God, this is a good stand. Oh, one more thing here. I kick-started these. These are switch blades. Now with the switch blade, switch blob, you can, um, uh, okay, this one's on the left. You can do, slide that into the left, slide that into the right. These have multiple styles to them. I went with the red because it's slick. And they have a little stand that comes out the back. It's adjustable, and you can be like, hey, pretty good, but you really can't charge when you're in that. And honest to goodness, I keep them over here because I don't always have my, um, my Joy-Cons charging on there. I just like the way it looks. Now, this right here is a little $9 part from, like, Micro Center or Fry's or whatnot. And it's got 2.0, 2.0, and 3.0. Now, the Nintendo Switch can support 3.0, but they actually have it need an update to properly support it. Uh, which is why the Gigabyte thing isn't showing the uh, speeds that it could be if, Nint if Nintendo fixed that particular port. But, let's get into it. This is the thing. This is the Hori charging stand thing. It's a big boy version of this. There is a version of this that has two USB docks. But we're going with this one because, yeah, look at that. Something, something, whatever. Anywho, let's just uh, let's get right into it. 
There you are. Up, 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 up. That's there's the instruction manual. It's, I think it's got a thing telling you that you can't connect it to a TV. It's not a dock to connect to a TV. Yeah, what is this? Ah, cardboard that I don't need. Yeah, it's Labo. Maybe you stick it on your face. Anywho, throwing that out. Cute box. Don't need it. What I want is this. Oh, plastic bag. Throwing that out. I'm going to put a hole in it. Don't worry. I, pr I respect the wild laugh. Here's a little thing saying caution. Make sure that the Nintendo Switch is updated with the latest software. Uh, firmware. Okay, cool. Let's take that sticker out. Okay, I don't know what I'm going to do with the sticker. Eh. Just pop it over here. Anywho, look at this puppy right here. It's happy to see me. Look, these are eyes. And it's like... Oh, there's a button right here. So, right here, it says push. Let's bring that up there. Uh, let's bring it in so that it's a... Uh, let's bring this up a little bit. We want to um, get that. There we go. Now it says push. See? This is it. Here's the instructions. It's a stand in the place where you live. Nintendo Switch. Uh, it's different things, 30 degree, 40 degree, 50 degree, 60 degree, whatever. <laughs> now, I'm going to throw those out, because I don't need them. There's a couple things here. Let's see. To test this puppy out, we're going um, to test a couple things on this. Here is the charging thingy. Oh yeah, you push this, and then that allows you to lock this into place. We're going to put it at this thing here. You have to hold this down to move that. But here, one, two, three, four, and then this charging one. It's got that little thing here, so it should work also with the switch light. Hmm, interesting. Let's pop this switch into here. Bing! Yes, there you go. We're charging. Oh, um, I do want to test a couple things on this. Mainly because you can... uh. Here's why you need this, okay? And I'm gonna go over a little bit. In a, um, I've got so many of these controllers to plug into here. Oh my gosh! So you can use all sorts of little um, controllers. Like here's one from PD PDP. But I'm gonna test something real quick. There's a couple things I want to test on this. Let's uh, pop into the game. Oh, I downloaded something. Cool. Thank you. Updates. Let's uh, let's unplug that. There's a thing I want to check on here, right? Now, we're going to test all the little... Uh, we're going to test the ports. Okay, see? Okay, that one, you can tell it's on. Yay! Okay, let's test this one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, let's test um, another one over here. Okay, and the final one. Okay, now I'm going to test one more thing on this. It's got four USB ports and then a USB-C port, which on the tiny one, you can connect this thing like this and be able to play these. So I'm going to test this to see if it works. Come on. Kaboom! Wait. Nope, it does not. Okay, so the USB-C on here does not output. Unlike the USB-C that's in the uh, switch and in the uh, tiny dock, you can't use this on this. Oh well. Good to note actually, but um, there's a reason why you're going to want this. Let's see, you have two, sorry, you have four USB ports, which is actually more USB ports than are on the actual switch dock. Um, let me go ahead and um, do, 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 do. okay. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. Okay. Yay! Charging. I'm gonna move this over here. I'm gonna be moving a lot of cables and cords here, so if you hear noises, you'll be like, "That's why." Okay. Let's see what we got. 
when they advertised it, they're all like, hey, you want to use this with a um, keyboard. A keyboard's kind of what they were expecting. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, cheapo keyboard. Let's, uh, let's go into something that requires search. We'll go to YouTube. Ba ding ding, a ring a ding ding. Okay. And let's go ahead and let YouTube load up a little bit. And we're going to use the search option here because you can use the touch screen on here. Let's do this and put in. Nope. Okay, this should be working right. Uh, does this require this? Hmm. Okay. So that's a little bit of a bus. Ah, okay. Let's actually get out of there for a little bit. Uh, should be able to use an on the on on a screen keyboard, right? Let's close that. I mean, I plugged in that keyboard. Now, I don't know if all keyboards will work on this. I mean, I have a I have um a couple uh, mechanical keyboards that do work on it. I want to see if this one works. Let's go into here because. I'm going to test this keyboard again. I've been getting that weird error with the eShop. And now it goes away when you restart the um, system, but still, it's weird. Anyways, let's go here and see if this works now. Nope. Okay, so this keyboard probably... This keyboard, I actually haven't tested this keyboard to work, see if it works in the... Uh, is this on? Do I have to turn this on? Nope. Anyways, this keyboard's not working on here. Um, let's get back to the other thing here. Because some keyboards work on the Switch. This one apparently does not. There is a, is a keyboard they sell that you can attach Joy-Cons to. And I was looking at it, I'm like, hmm, maybe I'll pick that up and unbox it. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Oh, by the way, hit that thumbs up, that share button, that subscribe button, etc., etc. If you haven't already. And uh, let me know. Should I pick up the weird little one that you can do that with? Oh, 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 oh. Here's one that's fun. Let's see here. Got a lot of different controllers. I'm going to... I'm just covered in controllers here for a moment. Let me uh, get out of here. Okay, cool. I'm going to turn off these. Because we don't really need them. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now let's see... Okay, we're going to pop that in here. There we go. Now this should work. Yay! Of course I'm using this. This is for, I bought this for the uh, Sega Genesis Mini, but I also like using it on the Sega Genesis Classics, which the Sega Genesis Mini, apparently you can use the um, controller that they sell for it, um, that comes with it, on the Switch. But I'll have to test that when it comes out. Anywho. That's not really the reason. I mean, I wanted to test a bunch of different controllers. That PDP one works. The, uh, let's see. The, um, Sega Genesis one works. I have an arcade stick, which, um, it's too big to lug out here, but that would work. In fact, you could connect two or more to it. Because you can connect four controllers via USB control stuff here, or... And see here, there's these. I've got like three of these. I've got one in white, one in yellow, and I think I've got one in black. I'm trying to remember if I bought that or not. Yeah. Anyways, I wanted the Pikachu one. This is good for Pokémon Tournament. So you can have Pokémon Tournament with the right way of control. Oh, look, and it matches these. On the go with this particular stand, which the stand's fantastic for that. It looks, it's a little control center, a little command center. But, uh... There's a real reason for this. Now I'm going to need to test this. I need to go find another one of these. Luckily, they're not too expensive. You're looking at like, I think they sent you back about 20 now. Um, but see this right here, this Wii U one? I've got one that's modified for the Wii, that's for the Wii U, that's branded for that. But I think there's some now that are just branded for the Switch. Because, you know, <laughs> I think Nintendo wants to forget about the Wii U. Yeah. Anyways, here's the grounding cable for Grumble. And here's the other cable for the control. There we go. And now, 
I can go ahead and use this to, uh, let's see, yep, you can connect a bunch. Okay, this one's two player, this one's three player, this one's this. Now remember, you can connect up to eight on there, so if you have two of those, there you should theoretically, if you have enough GameCube controllers, which they're not hard to find these days, you can theoretically have eight player smash in tabletop mode for some reason. Why? Because you can. Yay! Yay! Do I have Smash in here or not? What do I have in here currently? Oh my gosh, let's see. I forgot what game I've got in here currently. Hmm. Mm, doot, 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 doot. Oh, Mario Kart. Oh, yeah, let's try Mario Kart on here. Da -da 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 -da. Hmm. Okay, so. Mario Kart Deluxe. Let's uh hit this. Eight. Deluxe. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's go to multiplayer. We're gonna do three player multiplayer. We're gonna do a versus race. Okay, so yeah, I know, I know. Hit L and R Bunk. Yep. Yep. Yep, okay, so let's turn this one into ba uh, Peach, let's turn this one into Cat Peach, and let's turn this one into Metal Peach. Peach, 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 Peach. Free Speech. Yay! Now we're going to do no teams, no, no com, and we're going to do... No, not 48 races. Oh my gosh. There we go. I'll do this. This. Start race. I know, Maya. Don't worry. And uh, we can be like, what up? But seriously, if you have enough controllers to go around, you'd be like, yep, we're going to play this deluxe. And uh, you can do up to four here. And if you have multiple of those particular attachments, Theoretically, I'll have to test it out. You could do an eight-player smash, right? I'll just have to grab some other, uh, some uh, cheapo GameCube controllers because they're they're pretty cheap. Woo! There we go. Okay, let's put you over here. Let's move you along. Let's move you along. Ah, I could do the whole Sakurai thing where I'm like, up, 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 up. Ah. Now I'm playing three at the same time. This is probably not going to end well for anybody. Yay! Okay, let's do this. I don't know who's going to win. I think my um, second player is actually in first right now. Kind of my fault. Okay. Um, let's see these. Boop. Yeah, I don't know what we're doing here. Okay, let's keep that up. But yeah, um, you can do four players on this. You can actually do four of the, uh, let's see, you can actually do like four players with um, normal, like those little PDP controllers they sell that are like pretty cheap, or the GameCube ones they sell that are pretty cheap. So there's lots of options. Um, this essentially turns your tabletop mode system into a beast. It already was. It's already kind of a beast, but it, this is more beastly. Like, oh my god, really? So, uh, yeah. There you go. This is the uh, Hori charging stand. I'm going to remove this from here. Oh no, now we have no controllers! Uh, don't worry, don't worry, we're good. Ah, I've got a gray GameCube one here. i got like... Um, pretty much like a dozen controllers, I think. I'll have to check. But generally, yeah, let's uh, let's pop this one back in here. Actually, let's uh, let's close out of that. There we go. So if you're a fan of tabletop mode and you want to make sure your system's charged and you feel like, hey, I need accessories on my system, this is kind of the way to go. Now it's a little pricey. It's like forty bucks. And then um, if you order it from Play Asia, which is what I did, it's going to set you back shipping and handling, which was only about 50-something. 
So about 54 bucks went into this and it's totally worth it. I'm a little disappointed that the charging bay doesn't count as another USB thing like it does on this. So if you have one of these and you don't mind not being able to charge it, you can do this. But uh, yeah, four. Or if you have two of the GameCube adapters, eight player shenanigans on the system. In tabletop mode, which is tremendous. It also makes a nice little dock, so uh, let's say you're a person who's going to pick up the Nintendo Switch Lite, right? You, can shoot, you should, theoretically, be able to use this on that. So, oh, I'm home. I'm going to charge my Switch Lite. Let me pop it down on here. It's kind of like having your own little uh, dock specifically for the Switch Lite. This one will work on it, too. Well, of course, we're going to test all those once we get the unit in stock in our hands um, this upcoming Friday or so. So uh, stay tuned to that. Um, I guess you can probably figure out which color I picked up for it. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think of the Hori charging stand. It looks gorgeous with the switch blades, which I guess, disclosure, I, I kick-started that. And I, I like them. Now let's line this puppy up. Where's my lineup? Oh, there it is. Done. And uh, yeah, that's the Hori charging stand. It's got multiple things here. You can be like, oh, this is the, um, yeah, multiple modes. And you can hold that down. And then, yep, yeah, you have to make sure that's in. There you go. Toss this into your bag. It's a little heavy, I think but it's still worth it because it's also a charger and also those USB cables. So it actually has more USB inputs than the actual switch dock, which if they ever want to do a upgraded switch dock that allows 3.0 and has like four of those things, that would be perfect. They really do need to revise the switch dock. And one thing I'd like on the, on the revised switch dock is certainly, certainly, more USB ports. So yeah, that's the Nintendo Hori um, Switch dock thing. Yeah! We'll uh, test this on other, sy other systems in the Switch family when they come out. But yeah, I think it's a fantastic addition. It's sturdy and rugged enough to throw in a bag and it looks nice. The only thing I would also change though with this and it's kind of a missed opportunity like okay let's go ahead and move this around uh, they kind of missed out on the idea of hey I know you've got a little bit of um, empty space here let me let me see how that looks close right and close that up there's a little bit of empty space there I really really feel like they should have put in like a little um, section here in here to hold the game card, similar to how this one for the Nintendo 3DS and DS includes a section to hold a game card. That would have been so useful. Be like, oh, I put a game card in here, game card in here, you're good to go. That's the only thing I would add to this, aside from making all th all four of those USB-C, uh, sorry, USB 3.0. But yeah, this is the Hori Switch. Um, I guess you could call this the... Uh, <laughs> Hori Stand Pro. Yeah. And it's it's a thing of beauty. Oh my gosh. Now uh, let's pop you up here. There you go. Let's, uh, whoops. Let's line you up. Ah, that's so weird. Lining the stuff up on the Switch is so weird to me. Ah, there we go. Um, but yeah. Uh, that's that. I also feel like they should have used like a, uh, instead of a tight lock, they should have used one of those little locks like this, where it sticks in place, but not like clicks into place. Although I understand why they did this. They wanted to make this fairly, uh, fairly poseable and sturdy. So I'm okay with uh, style being sacrificed for sturdiness. But yeah, there we go. This is the Nintendo Hori Switch Stand. Hit a thumbs up in that 
comment in those things below. Make sure to hit thumbs up, share, hit the comments, ring that bell, like all that stuff. Make sure you ring the bell so you're notified whenever we have brand new videos here on Area DMG, which so far so good seems to be fairly frequently now. Hmm. Hmm. I must have. I just jinxed it. <sighs> I know. I know. I jinxed it. Oh well. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that share button. Hit that subscribe button. Ring that little bell so you're notified whenever we have a brand new video here on Area DMG. Until the next video comes out, you are now caught up. Morning, Maya.